morning. Welcome to Community Voice. I'm your host, Josh Engel. Today's Thursday, August 5th, and we are chatting with the newly appointed solid waste manager of Carroll County, the one and only Jacqueline Dawes. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning. It's so good to be here. Well, thank you for joining us. I know that uh, it, you're very busy. You, I am. You're about, what, two and a half weeks into your new uh, position? Yeah, now? something like that. Yeah. 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 And uh, I mean, you rolled up in a county vehicle, you got the phones, you're ready to go. <laughs> So, um, uh, first and foremost, I mean, we can just hop right into it. Um, you, you're no stranger. Uh, I th- imagine that you're friends with everyone in Carroll County and probably beyond. Um, tell us this story. How did this happen? Because, I, I mean, I don't know if folks remember, but being a friend of yours, uh, you know, you were traveling the globe, seeing all these beautiful sights. You were retired, just relaxing, working on your garden in that beautiful home of yours. How did you end up working for the county? Oh, yes, such a good story. (laughs) So um, first, let me start by saying I probably have my dream job. Um, I love what I do, and I am so excited to be serving the citizens of Carroll County in West Georgia. Um, That's sort of the first thing I It's a perfect fit. Well, it truly is. Uh, it, It was one of those serendipitous kind of moments. You know, the pandemic has changed everybody's world and you know I just don't hop on a plane every quarter like I used to and go to some cool place just because it's not really safe for me to do that just yet and uh, the county has been well according to Charles Pope he's been trying to hire me since the day that I left KCV (laughs) but timing wasn't right for either one of us and um, we're very blessed in Carroll County to have Charles Pope as our solid works our public works Uh, superintendent and he does so much for this county that most residents have no idea exactly what goes into public works but um, I will say a few months ago uh, he and I just happened to have a discussion about how the commissioners feel like the time is right to sort of separate solid waste from public works and uh, it's just too much of a job for him to do continue to do both and that's a pretty common and practice in other it uh, is cities it and, is okay. it is uh but um it just you know you have to the stars just have to align because you know of course you're funding a new position which wasn't there before but um it just the stars just kind of align so after having some discussions with michelle morgan and with charles pope uh, i decided to um basically throw my hat in the ring and uh they were very excited about the possibility of appointing me just because i do have roots in carroll county i i live here now I work here and I play here and it is good to have somebody who has some basic knowledge of how things work um I did not sign a lifetime contract I'm gonna put that out there too (laughs) um at some point I will um you know retire back into my fabulous life but um in the meantime my fabulous in my fabulous life be is being in charge of the trash and the recycling for Carroll County uh, we ha- manage 10 convenience centers uh, the staff there is actually contracted they're not county employees but we actually own I guess the ground that the convenience centers sit on. So that is my responsibility. We also own a transfer station at Simmonton Road. Some of you don't even know what that means, but uh, what that means is basically if you're a contractor or you have like a lot of yard debris or something like that, you take that to what we call the transfer station. In addition to that, 100% of the trash from all of the convenience centers goes to that transfer station where it then basically is transferred from smaller trucks and roll-off containers to larger trucks and then hauled to a landfill that we contract with in Polk County. Uh, And that's basically um, what happens at the transfer station. There's five employees out there. And uh, yeah, so I'm learning all sorts of things i you know the recycling side is not something that's foreign to me although in the five years that i was retired a lot has changed and so there's still a huge learning curve for me to get back into things and and relearn what recycling in 2021 differs from what recycling looked like in 2016 when i retired from keep carol beautiful but i am very excited i have a great team we work well with public works for example, yesterday, one of our compactors at Dyer Road 
went down and we've had an issue with that we had to order new fuses somebody stayed after work went to the supplier got the fuses made sure the fuse was installed before he left work for the day and and that's the kind of dedication that our county employees have so i'm very thrilled to be working with such an amazing team well i want to make uh, sure that we mentioned that today's program is being live broadcast on our wlbb facebook page so if you uh, are near a computer or if you can hop on your phone go uh, you can watch the the live stream of this interview and if you have any comments or questions for the new solid waste manager jacqueline dost feel free to uh, hop on and put those there. We already have our first comment from Sarah Bearden, who says, uh, love my sweet friend, Jacqueline Carol Doss. What did I say? You're friends with everybody. Uh, so excited for you. And of course, a bunch of heart emojis. So um, <clears throat> so you mentioned the uh, the transfer stations. You know, uh, as you, I know that you're still, you know, figuring out uh, how you want to basic, I mean, really, you're essentially creating uh, what this position is going to be for the future. So when you do decide to go back to globe trotting. Uh, and and traveling the world and and relaxing after the long life of work that you've had. So, uh, I mean, this position will be what you create, and then they will learn this position. So um, what kind of changes do you – I mean, do you have any changes in mind that you would want to make to our transfer stations or any goals uh, for those or the the convenience centers? I have lots of goals. Lots of goals. (laughs) Still working on those because, you know, I'm pretty ambitious and county government – kind of doesn't work like that but uh but we are going to we're definitely going to be doing a lot more education um the commissioner and i as well as um charles have sat down and sort of worked on some priorities and and um i think education is probably one of the most valuable tools that i bring to this position because uh we have a lot of people in this community that love to recycle and sometimes in their zealousness to recycle, they don't recycle correctly. And so we're going to be doing a lot of education to teach people because, let's face it, if our loads of recycling are contaminated, they they can't be recycled and they'll wind up going to the landfill and nobody wants that. So um, while there is a lot of zealousness to, oh, well, this is plastic. It may not have a number on it. It may be one of those hard plastic tubs that is one of those drawers to a storage unit, something like that. Those can't be recycled. And yet, every day we find them in our plastic bin. And the stretchy films, like the Uh, plastic. Stretchy films, yes, definitely. They also can, those actually can be recycled, just not at the convenience center, not with the plastics that we collect at the convenience center. So you'll be hearing a lot more about education, but at this point, there's a very important phrase I want people to understand, and that is, if in doubt, throw it out. (laughs) And I know that sounds counterintuitive for a recycling guru like myself to be telling people to throw things away. But, you know, if you think about the recycling pyramid, it's actually reduce, reuse, recycle. So our first decisions about recycling should be made in the store when we're standing there with a product in our hand. Is the packaging uh, less cumbersome than product A versus product B? Um, Is it all cardboard as opposed to cardboard and a bunch of hard plastic? Um, I love how a lot of our online retailers and um, places that I get things online from that I can't get in town um, have moved to more recyclable packaging. There's more cardboard and Mm. and box and less boxes, like smaller boxes. You know, you used to get a shipment from Amazon. It would have like one little thing in it in a big, huge box. (laughs) And, you know, they are working hard now to shrink that packaging. And cardboard, while we're on the subject of cardboard, is probably one of the easiest um, things and the most, we get the most bang for our buck in terms of a return on investment for cardboard. The thing about taking cardboard to the convenience centers is we ask you break the boxes down. A lot of people think, oh, they can just put a box and then put a whole bunch of boxes inside of the box, which in theory sounds good, but we would greatly appreciate it if you would just rip those that tape off and, and fold that box down. That also saves volume in that cardboard container. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and take our first break. But when we come back, we will continue our conversation with Jacqueline Dost, the newly appointed solid waste manager for Carroll County. Uh, But that'll be after we hear from our uh, sponsors, Tanner Health System and Oak Mountain Academy. So stay with us. Health 
is a journey. It's making better choices, even when it's not easy. It's taking care of yourself and the people you love. At Tanner Health System, we're there for you with every step, with primary care, heart care, cancer care, women's care, orthopedics, surgical services, and so much more. We're dedicated to helping you live and feel your best. So let's get on that journey to health. You've got places to be for many years to come. Find us at Tanner.org. At Oak Mountain Academy, our daily schedule includes convocation, prayer, and the Pledge of Allegiance. By doing so, we build a family-like community where all students grow and flourish and personal faith is encouraged. Through community service and a historical approach to biblical study, our students are taught the value of the warrior way, honesty, respect, and responsibility. Oak Mountain Academy, we are a family creating legacies. To learn more, visit oakmountain.us. And we're back to Community Voice. It's Thursday, August 5th, and we are talking to the one and only Jacqueline Doss, the newly appointed <laughs> Solid Waste Manager for Carroll County. And if you are tuning in, uh, be sure to hop on the WLBB Facebook page because we are live streaming on Facebook. And if you have any questions or comments for Jacqueline, we'll throw them up and uh, we'll ask them to her. So, um, yeah, let's talk about trash. So we were talking a bit about uh, recycling, you know, and how cardboard is, is very, uh, and as far as return on investment, you know, we it's great for recycling that, break the boxes down, uh, a little bit of education there already. Um, but what about trash? So, so I, my new moniker is now Trash Queen. I've <laughs> self-appointed Trash Queen of Carroll County. And um, that is that is sort of my steepest learning curve. Uh, we have um, a great relationship like i said with the folks that we contract to man the convenience centers uh, we do have contracts with a waste hauler who actually hauls for us two times so you have to again understand sort of the the complexity of how trash moves in carroll county we're not talking about the city of carrollton villarica bowden although we do get a lot of their trash as well at the transfer station but from the convenience centers we have a contract with a trucker who then comes and empties our bins literally into a big truck in most cases or hauls off our compactor containers and then takes them to our transfer station which is on the highway going towards Bowden if you've never been there before and so that as you can imagine logistically we have 10 convenience centers they're not all open seven days a week like Noonan Road Dyer Road and Temple is but um, so they logistically have to get bins from all over the county and take them to the transfer station. Our transfer station is old. Um, our landfill is there as well. It actually has been closed for about 15 years. And that's also one of my jobs now is to assist with the monitoring to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. When you close a landfill, it's not like you just decide one day, oh, I'm just going to shut it down. And that's all there is to it. There are um, various levels of contaminants that you have to monitor to make sure that these things don't get into our groundwater and our soil. And I'm very proud of the job that Carroll County has done over the last many years since our landfill ha has closed to, to be responsible in that area. And then of course, obviously I'll be carrying that on. And um, yeah, we move a lot of trash and our transfer station, you were talking about like new and innovative things. Our transfer station is based basically a concrete pad with a metal structure building. I'm visual, so I'm drawing you a picture here. <laughs> a lot of buzzards um, too. There's a lot of buzzards out there. <laughs> and, um, and basically what happens is if you're a consumer or even the city of Carrollton's trash trucks, they come and they dump their trash on the floor. It's basically called the floor. And you weigh in, you dump your trash, you weigh back out again, you pay or are billed based on the, the weight of the trash that you just brought. And that is moved around with large equipment, heavy equipment, front end loaders, whatever, and then actually gets pushed off the back of the floor onto a large transfer truck. Then that transfer truck pulls a little bit further away, and we have another piece of equipment that basically is a large bucket that 
basically compacts that a little bit to make sure nothing's hanging over so that the driver can safely cover his load, which is a law in the state of Georgia. Um, and then he will um, drive off to Polk County and, and dump our trash there. Eventually, um, we're in fiscal FY22 right now, um, probably in 23 or 24 at the latest, our transfer station is going to have to be rebuilt. Over the years, our floor has started to degrade and, um, you know, things change. The modernizations occur. I don't, I'm not so sure how much modernization you can really make to a transfer station, but I am going to be doing some research and finding out how other communities that have newer transfer stations operate. I know one of the things we're definitely going to do is put our scales closer to the entrance and um, that will that will save a couple of little minor issues. So we're not quite at the design phase for that yet because that is going to be a major project and is going to cost some money. Um, probably the most recent change that people have noticed is uh, several of our convenience centers have been updated. If you've been to Noonan Road lately and were there five years ago, it looks totally different. We now have compactors. The way you drop your trash off looks a little bit different. We talked about the compactors earlier. Um, and they're at Noonan Road and Dyer Road. And they're working really well. Again, I want to give a shout out to my public works department because at Dyer Road, the weight of the trucks and the compactor had eroded the concrete pad away over time. That just happens. It's one of those things that, you know, things wear out. And so we were successful in putting four uh, very thick metal plates down to alleviate that. And so um, those issues are fixed. Those aren't things that most average users of a center will even notice other than probably the biggest complaint we had at Dyer Road were some odor issues because water would sit there and so water and trash mixed together in 100 degree heat hmm, doesn't always mm. smell the nicest mosquitoes and everything yeah sure. so hopefully now that's been alleviated and and that problem has been fixed probably my first major construction project uh, that I'll undertake is uh, Temple Convenience Center is due for a renovation a little bit is safety related. We enter and exit that center through uh, one door, we call it one entrance. And uh, if you know, like for example, both Dyer Road and Noonan Road, you kind of form a loop. And so that's what we want to create at Temple. We'll do that. We'll enter as we do now on Old Villarica Road and then exit on Taylor Gin. That will make that center safer. It doesn't have a compactor yet. We're going to put a compactor in over there. Um, that will make a difference as well because um, that area of the county has grown so much. That center is very, very busy. And you can imagine that sort of services, that top I-20 corridor. So if you don't live in the city of Villarica, but you live in unincorporated um, Carroll County at that point, that would be the center that you typically would use. So, uh, I mean, this is a these are perfect examples of, I mean, first of all, you've already started fixing things so that's getting a head start <laughs> um but uh i'm not surprised at all but um i mean but this is a perfect example of the kind of things you're gonna have to be dealing with i mean something comes up a pad gets wore out replace it you gotta put uh you gotta you know clean up this area just uh, you know handle it i mean right how how i mean how much better is it to have the support of the county it when approaching these problems it, it's great and it's wonderful because this really is a position that should have existed a couple of years ago. Um, I'm very honored to be the first solid waste manager for Carroll County and, and Charles Pope, who I've mentioned before, the superintendent of public works, he and I have worked closely together all my years at, at Keep Carol Beautiful, we've always had an excellent working relationship and that is definitely continuing as we're doing this and it makes what I do makes his job that much easier. It means that, it doesn't mean that more roads are gonna get paved or uh, more things are gonna get built. I don't know if you've seen the new Oak Mountain Pavilion um, that they have created now, things like that. It just makes his job easier. He sleeps better at night knowing that somebody else is worrying about what's going on with our trash and convenience centers and he doesn't have that on his shoulders. So uh, it's been it's been a challenging couple of years, I think, for Public Works just because the demand for services has increased. And, you know, 
humans are humans. There's only so much of us to, to go around. And so, you know, you just can't do, I can't even get everything done in a day that I want to get done. So <laughs> I can only imagine what his workload is like. Uh, for sure. So we're, we're going to go ahead and take our second break. Uh, just a reminder, we are on Facebook uh, broadcasting live. So if you have any comments or questions for Jacqueline Doss, the solid waste manager for Carroll County, feel free to hop on there and put those on there. Uh, but when we come back, we're going to continue our conversation uh, about uh, the position of solid waste management and how Jacqueline's going to be uh, approaching that moving forward. Uh, but that's going to be after we hear a uh, word from our sponsors, Tanner Health System and Oak Mountain Academy. So stay with us. Health is a journey. It's making better choices, even when it's not easy. It's taking care of yourself and the people you love. At Tanner Health System, we're there for you with every step, with primary care, heart care, cancer care, women's care, orthopedics, surgical services, and so much more. We're dedicated to helping you live and feel your best. So let's get on that journey to health. You've got places to be for many years to come. Find us at Tanner.org. At Oak Mountain Academy, our academic excellence shines through innovation and a personalized educational experience. Our pre-K 3 through 12th grade environment offers a family-oriented atmosphere. We are an independent school with faith-based values and an academy honor code. Our academic standards prepare our students for college and beyond. I'm Patrick Duran, Headmaster, inviting you to visit us on the mountain or at oakmountain.us. Come see how our warriors are creating legacies. And we're back to Community Voice, Thursday, August 5th, and we're talking to Jacqueline Dost. Uh, the, well, she's the recently appointed solid waste manager for Carroll County, but I wrote these other things down and I did not say them earlier. So why not say them now? Uh, she was the executive director at keep Carroll beautiful from, I mean, it says 2007, but it was before it was I mean, 2005. Yeah. Really? You were the yeah. volunteer uh, capacity Yeah, yeah. Uh, from 2007 to 2016. And she's also the 2010 chamber of commerce warm woman of the year award. I can't not write that down. Come on. Um, so, uh, I wanted to ask this question, you know, uh, it's no, uh, it's no, uh, secret that you worked with keep Carol beautiful for a long time, uh, supplementing a lot of the work that this, uh, the solid waste, well, uh, the public works group was already doing. Um, how will this impact uh, your position here? How will this impact environmental nonprofits like keep Carol beautiful? I mean, is that, is there a potential for a partnership there? Well, We've uh, Keep Carol Beautiful has always partnered with Carroll County government in a, in a lot of different ways. I don't know if you um, remember that this past May we had probably the most ambitious event that Keep Carol Beautiful has ever held, which was our Tired of Tires household hazardous waste and and. Um, was paper, shredding. paper shredding thank you Whew. the american document securities <laughs> thank you um event and i'm so proud that i've been able to serve on the board of keep carol beautiful uh, pretty much since 2018 we now have martina griffin who is the most amazing executive director Dynamite. she is she is fabulous she has my energy when i started uh, coupled with 2021 technology and she knows how to use it and so we are very grateful in this community that we have martina griffin for that and i'm honored to still serve on the board clearly i've had to step back from some of the things that i've done in the past um just because I don't want there to be any conflict of interest. Plus, I just don't have the time that I used to. But uh, the county is proud to continue the partnership with Keep Carol Beautiful. You're going to see a lot of activity together again this November. Uh, Martina already has an event planned to do another tire recycling event, and it will actually be on county property. I it. I believe it's on the tra at the transfer station, and I believe the date is November 13th. But the best place to get all that information is actually on the Keep Carol Beautiful website, which is keepcarolbeautiful.org. And, and I will say that um, look for more of those co-branded events, more interaction between Carroll County government and Keep Carol Beautiful. Uh, we will continue that clearly. And um, Keep Carol Beautiful will still have its uh, fall e-recycling event. That event is scheduled for October the 16th. 
again, location is not yet nailed down just because Martina is working through some logistics currently, but check the website for that. And then on October 30th, I'm just going to put one selfish fundraising plug in. Um, our 5k for keep Carol beautiful starts at target every fall and it will go again. It's a great family race. You can make it a walk. If you can't run a 5k, just make it a walking event with your family. It is our biggest fundraiser for keep Carol beautiful. So, um, community support is important for that. We were, um, we currently do have some enrollment specials. So again, check the website and, um, save some money and support Keep Carol Beautiful. The other thing that I was going to say, I'm just going to say one more thing about Keep Carol Beautiful. And that is, um, at this point, they are still your best resource for what can I recycle and where can I recycle in Carroll County. Uh, they're probably going to be over the next few months as as I get into the education portion of my job more, uh, more education opportunities on the Carroll County website. But at this point, you have a question about where do I recycle paint? How do I recycle film plastic? Go to keepcarolbeautiful.org and there is a recycling tab and there's a, a search bar. Just type in whatever the commodity is, and that will give you the most up-to-date local information. This is how I can recycle. Wonderful. I'm going to shift gears just a little bit more because one of the biggest questions that we get is what happened to glass? Um, and this is going to be one of those partnerships again that we're going to continue with Keep Carol Beautiful. Uh, we are currently, as we speak, working through some contractual documents uh, to bring glass back to the Dyer Road Convenience Center and the Temple, no, the Noonan Road Convenience Center. We are not doing Temple at this point just because it's about to go under construction at the end of this year, probably in December. And so we don't want to put them in there, have people get used to it, and then have to move it away for a while. So there will be glass at Noonan Road and Dyer Road in the next upcoming months. I can't give you a firm timeline yet. Like I said, we have to work through some contractual obligations. Um, the good news for the taxpayers of Carroll County is it is not going to cost them any money. When we had glass recycling before, it was very expensive because we had to actually pay for the hauling to Atlanta. Thanks to Keep Carol Beautiful, they have found a glass recycler who will absorb the cost of hauling. We have to pay... Um, Keep Carol Beautiful is actually going to be responsible for paying a small monthly fee um, that will basically cover the rental of the bins at the convenience centers. So if you don't financially support Keep Carol Beautiful, please write them a check, especially if you want to recycle your glass, because although it will be housed on county property, it will be the financial responsibility of Keep Carol Beautiful. So it won't cost the taxpayers any money, but it will deliver a great service to our community. And I'm very very grateful to Martina for she started the groundwork for that long before I started this role. I'm just sort of finishing up making sure with our attorneys that the county is happy with the wording and uh, that Keep Carol Beautiful is, has the financial responsibility for that. Such exciting news. So glad to have Glass back. It was a bummer when that, uh, I mean, that's one of those return on investment things and mm -hmm. it, it was yeah. a practical decision, but it's, yeah. it's great to have it back. Yeah, we're very excited. So I know I personally am very excited because I've been hauling my glass to Atlanta. So <laughs> and tired and, of doing that. And before I, do, I don't have time, you know, before it was easy, I would just make a trip to the DeKalb Farmer's Market, no problem, take my glass with me. I don't have that kind of time anymore. This whole Monday through Friday gig is kind of, you know, keeping me busy. <laughs> well, Jacqueline, we're so glad that uh, to hear about your appointment. Uh, best of luck in the new position. Can't wait to see the, all the amazing things you do. And uh, thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you. I do want to say my, my email at address is on the county website. Um, if you go to the Carroll County government website and look under solid waste, that's how you can get in touch with me. My door is always open. I'm not always in it because I have 10 convenience centers and a transfer <laughs> station to take care of, but I would love to hear from the residents if they have questions, concerns. Hey, have you thought of this? please go ahead and shoot me an email. I would love to hear from you. Well, thank you for saying that, Jacqueline. And to all of you at home, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Thank you.